So, we have five different problems that we are going to look at. A first uh, exercise is going to be about a student reading to pass our examination. You know, she uh, needs to study for a certain amount of hours. Then we are going to look at engineers working on projects. Uh, it will be three engineering, I mean, three engineers working on projects for a certain amount of hours. The exercise is going to ask us to find out how many hours it's going to take for one engineer uh, using the same amount of hours it takes three engineers to complete uh, certain objects. Then we're going to take a look at another runner. A female runner that has uh, covered some miles with certain uh, speed of miles per hour. She just wants to know how long she has been running. Then we are going to take another, take a look at another exercise when we are doubling the age of a little boy, then subtracting the result of having more. Uh, to the to his original uh, age. Then we are going to look at a driver calculating distance driven. You know she uh, drive for certain hours uh, with the speed of certain miles per hour. Now let's all start on our exercise dealing with the real word application of algebra. Here we go. The first problem or the first exercise we are going to look at is a student here need to study for 12 hours in order to pack our examinations. He needs to read for 12 hours. Then we were told he needs five more hours to study. That means she has already studied for certain hours. So how many hours has she read so far? The question is how many hours has she studied so far? Now, I know this is not really hard questions. We can use our common sense knowing that we know she needs to study for 12 hours. And if she needs only five more hours, we can like think on our feet that, okay, we know how many more hours she needs to study for or how many, how many more hours she already study for. But to use the knowledge of algebra, we can represent the amount of hour that she needs to study. I mean, she already study with X. Or we can use Y, or we can use S, or we can use A, or we can use C. It don't matter what letter we choose to represent the unknown parameter with. Now, knowing that she has studied for a certain amount of hours, we don't know, plus five more hours she needs to study for. All these right here will equal 12 hours total that she needs to study for in order to pass her examination. Now, we have numbers and we have letters. The next thing we have to do is to collect the like term. Saying we need to put together numbers in one side and put together letters in the other side. So now, to in order to shift these five to the right side, we are going to do the opposite sign of this number. Right here we have positive 5 and in our previous video we know the opposite of positive 5 would be what? Negative 5. So that's the only reason we have to subtract 5 from this 
left hand side and remember whatever that we do to the left side we have to do to the right side so we are going to subtract 5 from both sides subtracting 5 from our left hand side and subtracting 5 from right hand side now we have x plus 5 minus 5 equal 12 minus 5 so now x is right here what is positive 5 minus negative 5? It's like you have $5 in your pocket. You hold somebody $5. If you pay that $5, what you got left? You got nothing left. And if you have $12, you hold somebody $5. You pay that $5, what you got left? 7. Now we have x plus 0 equals 7. If x plus 0 I mean, x plus 0 is the same thing as x. So now, our answer is x equals 7. That means the girls need to, I mean, the girl has studied for 7 hours so far. Here is another real world exercise that we need to look at. This is the second problem. Here we have three engineers. They have worked for 15 hours to produce 12 objects. How many objects will one engineer make in 15 hours? If it takes 15 hours for three engineers to produce 12 objects, how many objects will one engineer make in 15 hours? And also, if A chooses to produce 12 objects. How many hours would it take him or her? Now, let's go there. We know three engineers work for 15 hours, 12 objects. One engineer, that means individually, each one of them contributes five hours. 15 divided by three engineers will be five hours. So if one engineer trying to produce 12 objects. It's gonna be five hours multiplied by 12 objects, so it's gonna take him or her 60 hours to produce 12 objects. But if he wants to uh, work for 15 hours, he will only be able to produce four objects. So if we go back and, and check our answer, it will make sense because 12 objects by 3 engineer will be 3 divided by 12, which is simply 4. So, hey, that's the other way to look at it. Now, exercise number 3. A woman run 10 miles at the rate of, I mean, at the rate of 7 and a half mile per hour. A woman run 10 miles at the rate of 7.5 miles per hour. How long has she been running? So they want to know how many times, I mean, how, how long she's been running. Is it an hour? Is it 30 minutes? Is it, you know, is it two hours? So for us to know how long she has been running, we have to use the formula for the speed. Speed, as we know, is equal distance over time. Now, we have to change the subject of formula because we are looking for the time. So now, if speed equal distance over time, we can do cross multiplication, then time must multiply by speed, that will be equal distance. But we want to make time the subject of the formula. Now, what we need to do is to divide both sides. Speed cancel speed over here, then distance over speed will be time. So time equal distance over speed. Now, we were told the lady uh, ran for 10 miles, which is distance coverage. Then the rate 
see uh, uh running at is seven and a half seven and a half mile power so now we have time equal 10 miles over 7.5 mile per hour so mile cancel mile how many 7.5 goes in 10 we only have 1.33 hours so that means the lady uh, the woman has been running for one hour 33 minutes i hope you understand that let's keep moving now look at this boy right here assuming the boy's age is doubled then subtract result of adding two to his original age that means the boy's age we don't know represented by x add two to it then subtract whatever is sort of from doubling this age and we were told that give us six how do we solve that here we go we have the boy's age had two to it then subtract whatever that we got here from doubling this age this is a this is his age if we double it that means we multiply it by two and we were told all these uh whatever that happened here equals six now uh based on the mathematical law we have to do whatever it is in the bracket first of parenting so minus multiply by positive x remember minus times plus that will be minus we have minus times positive 2 that will be negative 2 now we have 2x minus x minus 2 equals 6 so what is 2x minus x that means you have 2x you got 2x in your pocket you hold one give that one out what you got left 1x and negative 2 is still right here everything equals 6 remember in the previous one where we have something like this what we did we collected like terms by eliminating whatever numbers in here to shift it to the right hand side and in order for us to be able to do that we have to do the opposite sign to this whatever number here if we have negative 2 then we have to add positive 2 to it if it is positive 2 then we have to subtract and negative 2 so in this case we have negative 2 what we have to do is just do the opposite to it we are going to add positive 2 to it and whatever that we do to uh, uh, one side we have to do it to the other side so we have negative 2 plus 2 equals 6 plus 2 negative 2 plus 2 that will be 0 then 6 plus 2 that will be 8 so simply if we go back and check if x is known to be 8 2 times 8 that will be 16 and 8 plus 2 that will be 10 so 16 minus 10 what does that give us 6 that means our answer is right another exercise a woman drives for 3 hours if she drives at the rate of 45 miles per hour how many distance has she covered so she has been driving for 3 hours at the rate of 45 miles per hour how many distance as she covered so we are going to use the previous formula that we use with the speed equal distance over time now the question is how many distance as she covers so we have to make this of the formula here speed is the subject of formula now to make distance the subject of formula is to do cross multiplication and time multiply by speed will be equal to distance so distance equals speed multiplied by time and we know the speed that she's been driving 45 miles per hour 
and she has been driving for three hours. So what we have to do is three times 45 miles an hour, then I will be 135 miles. So that means she has covered a uh, distance of 135 miles per hour. 